at Alzheimer's and Dementia Care to keep seniors at home. Homeinstead.com slash NPR. This is NPR News. This is Colorado Public Radio News. Mike Lane, a drop in oil and gas drilling means some Colorado communities can expect less money from the grants that are funded by taxes on energy development. The state will delay a grant application process to give communities more time to consider their needs before the next application deadline in February. Drilling tax revenues are expected to amount to $163 million in 2018. That would be way down from $300 million in 2008. In Colorado, not wearing a seatbelt is a secondary offense. You can only be ticketed for it if you're pulled over for something else. CPR's Michael Elizabeth Sackis reports that could be costing lives. On average, 84% of Colorado drivers use their seatbelts, 6% below the national average. CDOT wants to make seatbelt use a priority for the governor's office and legislators. Sam Cole is with CDOT. He says states that adopt a primary seatbelt law where you can be pulled over just for a seatbelt violation increases seatbelt use upwards of 15%. Even if we just increased our usage rate, to 90%, that's just a 6% uptick. We would save, oh, 25 or so thousands of injuries every year just in one year alone. Cole says there have been more than 550 vehicle deaths in Colorado this year, up from 515 last year. The state is only one of 15 that doesn't have a primary seatbelt law. I'm Michael Elizabeth Sackis, CPR News. An avalanche warning for much of Colorado expires today after the weekend saw a high avalanche danger. There is more snow in today's forecast around Vail and Aspen, partly cloudy for Metro Denver, and getting colder over the next few days. Highs will be in the mid-40s around Denver and Boulder today. Degrees cooler tomorrow and then down into the 30s for the metro area on Wednesday. This is CPR News. I'm Mike Flanagan from Colorado Public Radio's Open Air. We're taking a look back at a long list of records that made a big difference in 2016. Like one from last January. Released just days before his death, David Bowie's Black Star is an album unlike anything that preceded it in the Deep Bowie catalog. Look up here, I'm in heaven. Closer to home, the latest from Colorado's Elephant Revival is another one of our picks from last year a record of transcendent folk called Petals. What were your favorite albums of 2016? Cast 